We're going to start those uh, right off the bat. The nursery schedule is on the bulletin board uh, in the fellowship hall, uh, so make sure you sign up if you'd like to work in the nursery. Uh, the office will be closed at 1130 uh, Wednesday. We have numerous meetings and appointments and things going on in the afternoon, um, but I will be back uh, later uh, that day and be in the office. But um, So just note that if you want to come in on Wednesday afternoon, no one's going to be there. Uh, beginning September 4th, which is next Sunday, we're going to start passing the offering plates again, like we used to. Um, so we'll be singing the doxology. Thank you um, for that affirmation. Uh, so if you are interested in passing the plates, let us know. And we would love to have you do that. And it's a pretty easy job. I used to do it when I was a kid. They used to let me do it. Yeah, so even I could do it. So... If you're interested in doing that, we need about three to four people to do that, and uh, we'll, we'll be doing that starting next Sunday. Um, let's see, who should I call up first? Let's go with Janet Jones, is going to give us an update on Habitat for Humanity, a mission project right here in Hebron. Good morning. Um, Habitat is building... It's in Park Place, and you can access it from Wilson Street. And uh, if you turn in uh, the entrance to Park Place Drive from Wilson Street, it's about the third house down. You can see it's new construction. It's a family that has been living in Hebron in a rental house. Uh, it's a uh, mother and um, a single mother with a 12-year-old son and her disabled mother. And... Um, Missions Commission has uh, provided lunch uh, for some of the workers uh, one of the Saturdays in July and one of the Saturdays in August. And uh, we are going to also be providing lunch for the painting crew that's coming in this Wednesday. And the painting crew is volunteers from um, State Farm Insurance. And there's going to be between 16 and 20 workers there. And uh, they will have a dedication also uh, for the home sometime in October. And our Missions Commission uh, in the past uh, for the other homes has tried to attend the dedication and taken them a gift card and a welcome basket. So um, if any of you would like to help with the luncheon on Wednesday, uh, please see me after church. Uh, we try to keep it simple and it's going to be between uh, 18 and 20 um, volunteers. And uh, I've worked with Habitat in the past. I used to be on the Family Selection Committee, but um, I uh, gave that up because it was a little too demanding in my schedule. So, uh, but there are plenty of other people that um, have stepped up to the plate. And Bernie Honer is the building supervisor, and I can't say enough wonderful things about him. And he's actually a cousin of Loretta Kozlowski. And uh, he is so ambitious and so accomplished, he used to be the building inspector in Porter County. So he has lots of connections and he gets lots of uh, donated materials and knows who to contact for what. So if you have any questions, uh, we'll be putting some things in the bullet, in the uh, chimes about the dedication. So um, see me after church if you'd like to attend uh, Wednesday, if you can uh, help with the lunch. And uh, also, we'll be letting you know about the dedication in October. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Also, our mission committee chair, Doug, is going to come forward and give us an update. Uh, mission committee had a meeting the other night, and so we have some things planned. So he's going to update you. Thank you, Pastor Ray. Keeping with Pastor Ray's philosophy to try to refer this to a degree of normalcy, um, Start doing things that we used to do for years in the church. One thing we did was we had a uh, after church breakfast that we would have about once a quarter that was a free will donation. And what we did with that money was that went toward the Christian Travel Fund to support our annual trip to Henderson Settlement in Franks, Kentucky. Well, we want to go back to Henderson and back to Franks next spring, so we can start. Right on the tree and getting some money again. So, we will be having a after church breakfast on uh, the 11th of October. 
September. September, that's right, 11th of September. It'll, Jim Spur is gonna do some of his sticky buns and we're gonna have Doug and Jim doing pancakes and we'll have some other, we'll have a good time, some fellowship, have a good time. The other thing we wanna do is bring back something that hasn't happened for a couple of years and that's the Mission Banquet. Mission Banquet was a pretty big deal here in the church. We used to jam this place full on a Sunday evening and usually the second or first or second Sunday of November and served a Thanksgiving type dinner where the mission provided, missions committee provided turkey, mashed potatoes, rolls, and then we had people bring in desserts, casseroles, veggies, and we had a good time. We're gonna try to do that again. The date has not been established because we're still looking at calendars, but it'll be at the end of October or early November. So future announcements. And what we'll do is we'll put out clipboards that assign tables. We'll probably bring out the big round tables so everybody can sit in the back and we'll ask you to host a table. So the ones that have been here before, you know the routine, we'll be trying to move toward that. So I'll put something in the chimes and we'll be talking about putting inserts in the bulletin to keep you up to speed on what we're doing. Thank you, Doug. And I think that's all of the announcements that I have this morning. So if you'll please join me, um, we will watch the VBS uh, slideshow with pictures and songs. And so enjoy this uh, look back at the time of uh, Vacation Bible School.
pictures, and uh, you're going to hear more about Vacation Bible School as we go on with the service today. So please join me for our call to worship up on the screens this morning. Jesus said, love one another even as I have loved you. Love is more powerful than fear. It is mightier than nature. Let the love which God has lavished upon us be poured out to those in need. Help us, O Lord, to witness to you by the ways in which we care for others. Remind us, Lord, that we are called to be your disciples. As we worship this morning, you are our hearts and spirits and prepare us for service. Amen. morning. I, I got to say, Pastor Wayne, I didn't know Professor Spark played guitar till I saw that in the pictures. Maybe we can talk to him after church about, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, see if I can catch him after church. To get, yeah? Okay. All right. In the 18th chapter of Luke, Christ tells us, but Jesus called the children to him and said, let the little children come to me. And do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. So we're celebrating Vacation Bible School today. And the first couple songs are ones that you might call VBS-style songs. Therefore, kids... We would love to invite you up to join us in the first song. Yes, this is a shaky egg song. So come on. Come grab an egg. There they come. Now, while they're coming up here to get their eggs, uh, this is an audience participation song as well. So we're doing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. So when we sing um, You and Me, Brother, that's the guys. So, gentlemen, this is your time to shine. When we do you and me, sister, that's the ladies. 
So unfortunately, ladies, it's not ladies first today. The guys have that verse ahead of you. So they're setting the standard. All right? Got to turn face that way. We're going to shake the eggs as we go. Whatever you want to do. Now, kids, I'm going to tell you we're going to come to you in a little bit too. All right? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Guys, your turn. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Ladies. I just realized we left somebody out. We did the guys, and we did the ladies. We didn't let you guys take. So the next verse says he's got the little bitty, itty bitty baby in his hands. So we want you guys to sing. We'll sing it with you. We'll sing it with you back here. You don't have to solo it. All right? You're looking. Some of them are looking at me like, say what, Willis? Yeah, what you talking about? Here we go. Here we go. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby. Everybody. He's got the whole. I can't hear you. In his hands. He's got the whole. Now you gotta put your eggs back. Hey. You know this song. Put your hand in the hand.
I could follow that. That was pretty good. So uh, it's time for our joys and concerns this morning. I've uh, been given uh, a prayer request. Uh, Harold Walter, sister Roberta Green passed away, so please keep that family in your prayers uh, this morning and also throughout the week. Also make sure that you pray for those uh, who are on our uh, prayer concern list and those that you have at, on your list at home. And always, uh, we pray for all those whom we know who are hurting and need help. in an attitude of silent prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us today. We thank you that we can come to church to be the body of Christ, to come and fellowship, to love each other, to care for each other, to cry, to mourn, just to be a presence. Lord, we thank you for Vacation Bible School. We thank you for the kids and all the volunteers and all those who helped make it happen. And Lord, we thank you that today we are here to celebrate that event. Lord, we are also thankful that you have blessed us beyond anything that we can imagine this past week. We thank you for loving us and caring for us and protecting us. We thank you that we were able to take breath this morning when we woke up. And Lord, we thank you for our police, fire, EMS, and conservation officers, all who are there to help us in our time of need when we cry out for help. We thank you for our health care professionals who are there to also help us when we need them the most. And Lord, we thank you for our school corporation and all the employees we thank you that they are there to help teach and mold and to guide our young people. Lord, for all of these, we ask for protection in everything that they do and say. Lord, we're thankful that we have friends and families and we have birthdays and anniversaries, times of celebration, but also times to lean on each other when we need each other the most. And Lord, you know that there are times even in our own lives where we have problems and situations. We have questions and we have doubts. We have worry and fear and anger and frustration. Sometimes, Lord, it just seems like the whole world is collapsing in around us. But that's where you are there. You are always there to remind us that you are there for us to cry out to 
and to have faith in and to give up those issues and problems to you. Lord, we pray for those who are sick, those who are struggling with any kind of addiction or situation in their lives. We ask that you be with them, whether they're at home or they're here with us today or they're at the hospital or the nursing home. Lord, just be with them. Lord, be with this entire church and congregation as we continue to be the hands and feet of Christ in this world. And Lord, we pray for not only for those who are here today, but those who are watching online and those who will watch online throughout the week. We ask that you continue to heal them, to be with them and protect them also. And Lord, we say all of this as you taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. time for our offering prayer, so please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have blessed us and blessed us with resources, that you have blessed this church with ministries because of the resources that we have been blessed with and we give back to you. So Lord, this morning, bless the giver, bless the gift, and Lord, not only let it multiply for your kingdom here on earth, but also multiply the blessings of the giver. We say all of this in your precious name. Amen. So I'm going to turn it over to Leanne, who is our director this year. And I'm going to move this out of the way for her. And I've, I've noticed our guest speaker hasn't arrived yet, so I'm going to go check and see where our guest speaker is. So you, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? So you guys can handle it from here? All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, it was our distinct privilege 
to have almost 30 kids here for VBS the first week of August, and the last two Sundays we also learned upstairs. Our theme for this year was Spark Studios, in which the kids learned that they were created in Christ and designed for God's purpose. It was an amazing three days. The church was filled with laughter and singing and sticky hands and cartwheels. And it was chaos, but it was amazing chaos. And it wouldn't have been possible without the innumerable help from volunteers, people donating their time and money to prepare things. And I wish I could name everybody, but we'd be here until tomorrow because everybody stepped up and it was amazing. And I'm so glad you got to see the pictures because I feel like that really gave you guys a good insight. But the kids are gonna share a little bit with what they did during VBS. So the first thing we're gonna do is our theme song, which is the same as the theme of the week, is Spark Studios. So spread out, guys. Make sure you have room. Let's go back a little bit. All right, here we go. and the kids just really grasped uh, the handle, got a good handle on that, and it was just wonderful to see. We also learned a Bible verse that we worked on all week, and you might recognize it from our last song. So, can we say it together? For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. And that comes from the book of... Ephesians 2.10. Good job. Yeah, so when we practiced saying the verse, they always wanted to sing it afterwards because that, it just kind of got stuck in their head that way, which is fun. Um, so we did five rotations every night in VBS. Snacks, recreation, crafts, missions, and their Bible study. And each night they got to learn a little something different, and the songs went along with it. So we're going to share our next song. 
And this is a song that we learned about how marvelous God is. if anybody wanted to share anything about what they learned or their favorite part and they all just kind of looked at me like they looked at Doug like <laughs> no <laughs> but one of the, the things that they learned on our last day of EBS was that we wanted to go and share the good news and spread what we learned and the love of Jesus and the kids did that uh, through creating mission bags we call them spark bags and what they did was they decorated, we've got 20 bags up here, that they decorated and filled with craft supplies and art supplies that we're going to donate to local housing shelters for children who come in and bring nothing but the clothes on their back and have nothing to do to entertain themselves. So the kids really, they put their heart and souls into decorating these bags. So I encourage you to come up and look at them after church because you can't really get a good view. But they're beautiful and Hopefully I can take a group of them with us to deliver them. And it was amazing. So our last song spreads that word of go, go tell the world about it. You ready, guys?
Galatians 3:26 through 29. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children to, of God through faith. For all of you who are baptized in Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there a male and female. For you are the one, all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. And here is according to the promise. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm running a little behind. We, we had a little situation at the lab this morning, so I just wanted you to know that uh, right up front. Pastor Wayne asked me to come and speak to you today, and I asked him, I said, what should I, what should I speak about? I didn't know what to talk about. He said, just pick anything that you want. He said, you have hours and hours and hours to speak to these people. I'm like, great, I can do that, so that's what I'm going to do. I think Pastor Wayne usually stands up here. Um, but yeah, I mentioned that we had a little bit of problem at the, at the lab. Um, I had my hair straightened back out, but you see what happened again. And my favorite pair of sunglasses got busted. Yeah, I, I was devastated, absolutely devastated. So I went to the trash can and I found these. Don't they look spiffy? It was somebody's birthday and they threw them away. Perfectly pair of good sunglasses. I think I'm gonna keep these. But anyway, I am so happy to be with you here today. Pastor Wayne, he's watching the lab for me. Make sure nothing goes wrong while I'm up here. So let's, let's pray that, that nothing wrong goes, goes on while I'm up here. So, so I, uh, I, was, I did a lot of thinking. And I thought, what a great book. To talk to all of you about Go, Dog, Go. How many of you have ever read this book? Yeah. It's a great book, and I wanted to share it with you today. So I'm going to read this book to you this morning. Go, dogs, go. Here we go. Dog. Did everybody get that? Yeah. Uh, Doug, you got it? Okay. I'll make sure. Big dog. Coach, did you get that one? I, I, you didn't get it, so I got to say it the right way. Big dog. Little dog. Big dogs and little dogs. Black and white dogs. A red dog on a blue tree. A blue dog on a red tree. A green dog on a yellow tree. Some big dogs and some little dogs going around in cars. A dog out of a car. Now it's night. Three dogs at a party on a boat at night. Dogs at work. Work dogs, work. Dogs at play. Play dogs, play. Yeah, yeah, go along with me if you know the words. <laughs> dogs in cars again, going away, and they're going away fast. See all those cars? And they're going away fast. Look at those dogs go. Go dogs go. Bet you that's where they got the title of the book. What do you think? You guys see that little bird? That looks dangerous. Stop dogs, stop. The light is red now. Go dogs go. The light is green now. That was scary there for a moment. Now it is night. Night is not a time for play. It is time for sleep. The dogs go to sleep. They will sleep all night. Now it is day and the sun is up. Now is the time for all dogs to get up. Get up, it is day. Time to get going. Go dogs, go. Oh man, you guys are good. There they go. Look at those dogs go. Why are they going fast in those cars? What are they going to do? Where are those dogs going? Look where they are going. They are all going to that big tree over there. What are you guys laughing about? There's a tree. Oh, that, no spoiler alerts. No. 
Now the car stopped. Now all the dogs get out. And now look where those dogs are going. To the tree. To the tree. Suspense is killing you, isn't it? <laughs> up the tree. Up the tree. Up they go. To the top of the tree. Why? Will they work there? Will they play there? What is up there on top of that tree? Anybody know? Party! A dog party! A big dog party! Big dogs, little dogs, red dogs, blue dogs, yellow dogs, green dogs, black dogs, and white dogs are all at a dog party! What a dog party! What a great book, isn't it? Man, I love this book. I know. Ah, thank you, thank you. I, I'll do this again at 6 o'clock if you want to come. <laughs> not, not really. Don't come here at 6. But what's this got to do about Vacation Bible School? Well, Vacation Bible School, we learn about how we are created and we are loved by God. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to create really cool and fascinating things in the lab. You know, and a lot of times they go right. Sometimes they go wrong. But I, I do it out of love. And so God, we learn that God created each one of us. And so if he created us, that means he loves us. And isn't that a beautiful thing? Isn't that something that we should celebrate? You know, in our book, we read, put it up on the screen. There we go. Big dogs and little dogs, see, it doesn't matter how big or how little they're dogs, black and white dogs, doesn't matter what color they are, a red dog on a blue tree, a blue dog on a red tree, a green dog on a yellow tree, all came to a big dog party. And isn't that what we're called to do, that God calls us to have a big dog party. And isn't that what church is? It's a big dog party. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I was expecting something a little more enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, love that one. It's a big party that all people can come and experience the love of Christ. You know that, that young man read to you that verse from the preacher Paul. That's what I call him. So let's, let's take a look at what that said again. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free. No is there male or female, for you are all one in Christ. We are all together loved by Christ and loved by Jesus. And you know what? Jesus loves you. And I don't want you to ever forget that. Well, we'll hope that the lab is okay. Because I don't smell any smoke. Right. So let's join together our last song so we all get cold. Oh, man. Well, I stand up. Oh, God is an awesome God. There is some. 
benediction this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us, for caring for us, and Lord, as we go forth, help us to love others and remind us that you love us beyond what we can remember. We say this in your precious name, and we also say this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen and amen. <laughs>